sacrificing up for them. Guess what? Because what? We the kings. They don't know they the kings out here. They don't know they gotta keep God commanded. Yeah. Sleeping in. If you ain't in the truth, this album probably gonna be hard to understand. Had to exit, feel disconnected from the world. I can say it feel refreshing. Everybody, I try to say, hey, a scripture thrown in your face. Understanding it elevated as I start to get more serious. Question after question, it was late nights. Had to say, I was so curious. Felt my life coming to a halt. Saw the things I was giving up. God had to try me by the reins. He said, You can't serve both of us. Choose me or you choose the world. Choose the drugs or you choose the word. Felt so, so miseducated. Was a lot of things that I had never heard. Had my pad out every Sabbath. It was new to me taking notes in church. This life a little different, man. Ain't nothing fake. Who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? What kind of thing? What kind of thing? I gotta get on the job. Every day I'm putting bricks in. Feel like ancient Egypt, how we back to work. Who the shit for the 12 trials? We fought the real long whole earth. Who was back in ancient Egypt? Somehow we're still the same slave today. Assyria up to Babylon, man, the nation's gonna have a lot to pay. Persia, Mede, East India. This is what he said. Watch this. Read it. Watch this. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. See that? That's what he was trying to say. When our people come up here, they think we unlearned and ignorant men. So I'm saying, no, I know, I know. Y'all got stuff in the But John John, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. So we can, we can, so that ain't true, right? This is professional stuff, so I don't care. He's not talking about you. But nine times out of ten, when brothers come up here, when sisters come up here, it always be a hassle. Because they see they, they see people just look just like them, they're bringing knowledge out. The same people in the Bible of color. The same people, John, Paul, Peter, they was of color. You see what I'm saying? So now watch this, read that again. Now, when they saw that boldness of Peter and John. So sometimes when, especially Christianity, they see us bold out here speaking strong, or especially a woman that come from the church because they like to run over men. So now they come up here and they see us speaking bold. They're like, could y'all calm down? No, we men. God made us to be men. Right. We can dialogue without being a hostile. We just men. Our voice is loud. Christ's voice was a, of a multitude of water. So we, we naturally just loud. Read. And perceive that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They marveled. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. So that's what we hope. You understand that. Look, we are actually the prophets of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, the only thing you're trying to get you to see is we have to keep God's laws, man. Period. You see what I'm saying? Give me all Revelation 14 to a basis. Watch this. That's all we got to do. But the thing, the reason why he said what he said because you still got your hat on. But you, you, you love the Lord, right? You, you love God, right? Okay, so you don't believe in God. So, so that's the truth. That's, 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 that's what's going on. Now, but you don't believe in God, why you read the Bible? My question is, if you don't believe in God, why you trying to get a shit? I just asked you. Oh, man, you talking about, man, come on, man. Watch this, let's show you. Watch this, read what you got. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are what, what are the saints? Who are the saints? Those, from, from my understanding, are the, they are like the, the, the most high, like the very high. high Give me Psalms 15 and 5. Okay, but we're going to find out. Okay, no, no, let me, let me teach for a minute. Then, then we're going to go to Right, but you got to listen first. Okay. You're trying to, just saying, listen. Saying, All right. You trying to teach something, bro? That's the, that's what we trying to teach. You trying to tell us to go to scriptures? We ain't come out here for you to teach us the scriptures. We come out here to teach. But then hold on. But, but we're gonna let you speak. Yeah, but 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 we're gonna receive. But you got to be patient. Listen. Read what you got. Because the whole point of us teaching is to teach us to who we are and to keep God's commandments. Anything else, you know, matters. Anything else, it doesn't matter. Now watch this. Now we can talk. But, but hold on. Right. Read. Psalms chapter fifty, verse five. Gather, this is who the saints are. 
Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those have what? Made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Now, who made a covenant with him? With, with, with God by sacrifice? The Israelites. Yeah. So that's the saints. Now go back to, we are. So this, these people on the sign are the, the saints. Right. We're the saints, right? Well, so now read that again. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. That do what? Keep the commandments of God. No, that no, that don't. We want all the knowledge. We got all the knowledge. But what did the scripture say? All that what? Here are they that keep the commandments of God. That's what it's about. And the faith of Jesus. So that's what it's about. We gotta have those too. You see what I'm saying? So now go to Ecclesiastes 13 and uh 12. I mean 12 and 13. Bring it out! Because everything else. We showing you what it's about. We just read what? You got to keep the commandments and the faith. Not in the white man, Yahweh Shah. The black dog like you. Look like you. If he was like, they'd be like you. Complexion wise. See what I'm saying? Now read what you got. Oh, that brother right there. Read. Which is royalty. Right. But in, the, in, 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 to, in today's society, that looked upon as not beautiful. That looked upon as, oh, dark, disgusting. Right. The devil but that's the. Was the and who is the devil? The white man. That's right. <laughs> Read. The book, book of Ecclesiastes. Which just means deceiver. He didn't want to deceive us. Right. Now we talking about physical. We talking about the physical right. counterpart. See, that's a whole nother level, but we ain't gonna get it yet. Right. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, Jaja, what is the conclusion of the whole matter? What are we supposed to do, Jaja? Tell us what we're supposed to do. It's on you. You're supposed to keep all the commandments of God. What I, what I also believe, what I also believe, what I also believe, what I also believe is this. It's not so much about, God ain't going to take only the people who know the Bible. God ain't going to take everybody. Is that, is, what script is that? God, no, no, no. I, I know you just saying. I'm saying, where is that when God said? You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, I'm hearing y'all, but I'm just asking for a scripture. You know what I'm saying? I can't even get to the conclusion to make the statement. Okay, go ahead. You right. You right. You, you right. I agree on that. You right. Go ahead. Finish your statement. When you're born, you come to Now, what's, going, what's the whole conclusion? What's the whole conclusion? I'm, I'm just trying to, this, let me just Can you get in a nutshell? Well, okay. When you're uh, born, everything comes in the, in the process. You don't come to this world talking. You don't come to this world walking. It takes time. You, somebody to teach you how to walk. You end up learning how to speak. All that. That's the same way in, in, in God. God don't think take everything at once because everybody don't learn the same. You can't come and just force them or force them. I ain't saying y'all force them. I ain't saying it. But I'm saying you can't just come and just only hit one side when everybody know all the stories got to be We out here in the daytime because there's a night. There's a up, there's a down, there's a left, there's a right. Don't nothing on this earth happen because it felt like it. But also at the same time, God, it's about having a relationship with God. And it, in Psalms 91, so what's the what's the Psalms 91, those who know my name, just ran through the name, what's the conclusion of What's the conclusion of that? So, with me, it's all about having a personal relationship with God. Okay. About me having a personal okay. relationship with God, okay. I feel as though, so it's about having a personal okay, relationship. Before you get that, let's get back to what Solomon. Could you agree Solomon was like the wisest man that ever walked the face of the earth? If you don't, you probably don't, but the Bible says, come on. I would say he not. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear so you 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 can't you summed it up what you felt. I can ask him, he probably could come up with something. He he probably could come up with something. Everybody that means a trillion people, billion people could come up with their own conclusion, right? But let's see what the Bible says. Read that again. Let us can hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. What is the duty of man? For this, fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is the whole duty of man is to keep God's commandments. Not go to 1 John 2 and 3 because you said. Bring it out. Watch this. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. We do know we don't know the Lord. If we keep his commandments. If what? Right. If we keep his commandments. If what? If we keep his commandments. That's right. He that saith, I know him. So the, the person or the sister that say, I know the Lord. Because everybody say they know the Lord, right? Everybody got a personal relationship with the Lord, right? He that say, I know the Lord individually. Me and the Lord, we here. We, I'm vertical with the Lord. But he that saith, I know him, the person that said they know the Lord, and keep not his commandments, 
is a liar. Is what? Is a liar. Now, Kiri. And the truth is not in him. The, yes, right. the truth is not in you. So now, what is the truth? Because it said that we are lying. They said we know the Lord. And the truth is not in them. Yeah. Let's get the truth real quick. You Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So his righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Some people, we, might, everybody might have an opinion what righteousness is. Hold that. Give me Luke 1 and 6 just to get a quick Bring it out. understanding of what righteousness is. Because everybody got a, a, a different understanding of all things. But what we must do is come to what the scriptures say. Right. Yes, Read right, right. Luke chapter 1, verse 6. And they were both righteous before God. So now these two people was righteous before God. Let's see um, what, what they was doing to be righteous before God. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So that's what's righteous according to God in the scripture. Now go that's back right. to Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. These commandments is everlasting. That's why you can't tell me like the law is done away with. Right. You can't say the law. The law is never be done away with. That's when, we, right. when, these, when these 12 gates, when we go, get into these 12 gates, we gonna be keeping God's commandments. That's so right. So how can you say God's commandments over with now? And then I'll know they never over with. He said right. my righteousness is never in. Watch this, it's everlasting. Read it again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. His commandments is everlasting. Can't nobody, you cannot outdo or say the commandments done away with. Right. They're right. everlasting. Come That's on. That's right. And thy law is the truth. And what is the truth? And thy law is the truth. These laws is the truth. These commandments, these laws, statutes, right. and commandments yeah. is the truth. What we're missing in these communities. That's what we're right. missing in the hood. What we're missing in these ghettos and these projects. Right. We're missing that. We, go ahead, sir. Give me let's start, let, give, me, give me Matthew 15. Then you're right. So let's see so, what he's gonna do with these lost sheep. Right. So uh, break it up. Let's see what he gonna do with these lost sheep. You're right. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You're right. Yeah, somebody right. gotta come, somebody gotta come save the sheep. That's right. The black Messiah coming to save the lost sheep. That's, That's right. right. Which is us. That's right. He said, but I'm only sent. Only. Only sent. If he sent, that means somebody had to send him. Who sent him? God sent him. Gonna send him. Right. Gonna send the black Messiah to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So now, give me John um, 14 and 15. Got you. Bring the book out. of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So if you love the Lord, keep my commandments. That's what you got to do. Bring the whole duty of man is to keep God's commandments. That's, right. That's what's going to stop us because guess what? When we was growing up, I know what I was going to speak for myself. I ain't going to speak for everybody. Right. But nine times out of ten, it falls into everybody's category, though. Hey. Because guess what? When I was growing up, it, I wasn't taught how to get one wife or whoever you have sex with, that's your wife. Wait till you get old enough to get on your own, take care of your household, right. then get married and have kids. That's right. We weren't taught none of this. We weren't taught don't steal from your brother, don't be fired from your brother, don't envy your brother. You see what I'm saying? We weren't taught that. We missing that. That's why God getting us back out here now to do what? Isaiah 58 and 1. Yeah. Let's show you why we got us out here and speaking the way we speak. Isaiah 58 and 1. Let's show you why. Because we were missing all this growing up. We were sleeping. Everybody was dead sleep. Because right. now my household ain't sleep now. My kids growing up about to be going to keep these law statutes and commandments. That's right. Because I know to keep them now. Because I'm awake. And I'm going to touch. I'm going to show you why some people are awake and some people still sleep. And I'm going to show you that next. Now watch this. This is why we out here though. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 58. Verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. So the Bible tells us to come out here and cry aloud. Just like a little kid walking across the street, where we can both say, hey, baby, stop. Don't walk across the street. Hey, watch out. We're supposed to warn them because you, danger coming. Right. So we out here crying aloud. Come on. Spare not. We ain't sparing not, meaning we ain't saving nobody feelings. Like when sisters come up, hey, we're going to get with the scriptures. We don't get no emotion. We're right. going to get you straight scriptures. Whether we ain't sparing your feelings. We don't care how. Because everybody going to come with different ideas and different ideologies and all lost in all type of religion. We still going to get you straight, uncut, wrong. That's right. Read. That's right. Lift up thy voice 
like a trumpet. A trumpet is loud, right? Last time I checked. Come on. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. You see that? That's what we commanded to do. We come out here and tell our brother, look, you an error with your hat on when the script's coming out. That's right. That's, so that, right. that's what's going to change us. That's what we like the officer brought out. That's what converts our soul. Learn, learn these commandments is what actually changes us from being in the world and coming to love him, how he made us to love him. That's right. That's the only blueprint to keep us intact with him. Hold on, I know you finished speaking. I'm going to let you speak. That's the only thing. Uh, what I want to Damn, I want to Oh, I'm going to show you why we ain't got, I mean, every summer. Hold on, let me slow down. Why some of our people still sleep. Give me um, Romans 11 and um, 7. Bring it out! Let's show you why. Let's show you why. Now, before you get that one, give me Hosea, hold that one. Give me um, uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6, and then give me that one in um, Romans 11 and 7. The book, of, the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge. My people is talking about us, right? We just talk, but lack of knowledge. What knowledge? Because we got a whole bunch of knowledge on how to push this dope. Bring it out, we, know how to, we know how to sell dope without getting caught. Or we know how to juggle two or three women without getting caught with, uh, quote, unquote, our main chick. Bring it out, huh? We know how to juggle two, three women. We, we got a lot of knowledge to know how to erase that text, do this. We know how to, hey, hide that condom, put that condom over here. We, we got a lot of knowledge on how to do wickedness, right? Right. But so it's it's a knowledge we missing according to God. Let's see what knowledge we missing according to God. Bring it out. The book of Malachi, chapter two and verse seven. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So we're finna go into the definition of what is uh, knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So we should seek the law, meaning these commandments. That's the knowledge we missing. Right. Read this it. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So we supposed to be the messengers. So if anybody's speaking, the knowledge we missing is the laws. We missing right. the laws in the communities. You see what I'm saying? We missing that. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge of what? Of the laws. I'm supposed to love my brother. I'm supposed to hate my brother. No matter what you do to me, I'm supposed to love you. You understand what I'm saying? But we don't do that. Right. Hey, hey, oh, we hold grudge against. Let me show you what we do. Hold that. Give me Leviticus okay. 19 and uh, 17. This is what we're supposed to do, but then the, 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 the scripture under that is going to show you. Uh, I'm going to pull it out and show you what we do. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You see that? We're not supposed to hate our brother in our heart, but running around here, it's a lot of hatred because there's a lot of dead bodies floating around here. Right. It's a lot of hatred going on around right. here. That's right. Right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We're supposed to rebuke our neighbor. See, that just let you know the devil stirred up. He said, we, listen up, John John. He said, we should, we should any wise rebuke our neighbor. Meaning, we're supposed to correct our brother when we see him going wrong. If I'm going wrong, you can say, you know, you're supposed to do that, man. You're right, bro. My bad. I wouldn't thank you. That would have kept us close knit. You see what I'm saying? Rich. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17, 6, 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. See that? It said one supposed to do what? Listen up, John John. Watch this. Hey, hey, hey. John John, what do our brothers do in the hood? Just being for real. If, if I'm growing up in the hood and somebody kill one of my home boys, retaliation. Now watch this. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You see that? Of the Israelites. Because that's the children of the people. We, we aren't supposed to bear grudge against each other. Or have that, oh, I, I'm going to get you retaliation. But we, we do that. So that's what knowledge we miss. Give me that on why to do evil. Isaiah 5 and 2 or 20. Jeremiah 4.22. Yeah, Jeremiah 4.22. Watch this. Let's show you where we are. We're not, because it's said for the lack of knowledge, my people perish, right? So now, watch this. Showing you that we got knowledge. We got a lot of knowledge. But what the wrong knowledge, we don't have the knowledge according to God. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, and verse 22. Yeah. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. You see that? We foolish. We have not known this true gospel. We have not known that we the Israelites. We have not known that Christ is black. We have not known that God is black like us. Yeah. We missing all that. Read. They are sottish children. 
and they have not understanding. They are wise to do evil. You see that? We're wise to juggle two, three women. We're wise to sell dope keys for years, don't get caught. You see what I'm saying? But to do good, they have no knowledge. You see that? To do what? But to do good, they have no knowledge. Let's show you what good is, because they have no knowledge on doing good. Give me that as Romans 12. Get out! Well, for the law is holy. See that? I always come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. The law is holy. Because when we realize what the law is, because God is saying, look, it's almost like the law is this right here. It's just God is hovering over the law. So he said the law is holy. So that's holy. That should not kill is holy. That should not steal is holy. That should not commit adultery is holy. Right? But we have disconnected from that due to slavery and, and brainwashing that the white man they put on us from years and years and years and years. You see what I'm saying? So now, we go back and test this holiness. Oh, wait a minute, man, we we're supposed to, I'm supposed to uh, commit adultery? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm being perfect now, I'm being holy now. Now that's when we begin to be holy as a nation again, when we all come back to these laws. The that's laws right. right! Read that again. Romans chapter seven and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy and just. And good. You see that? The commandments are just and good. Give me that in um, the, the kingdom of priests. Exodus uh, 4, ain't it? I'm messing up. 19 and 5. I'm backwards. 19 and 5. Watch this. Let's show you when we test this holiness, what happened as, as a nation. First, when you first when you keep the commandment, I keep the commandment individually, then we all gonna start coming back collectively as a nation. Then you wonder why we ain't got black business? We gonna have black businesses. We gonna have, we ain't got to go and shop with the Arab or the Chinese. I just seen a Chinese um last night choking out one of our sisters. Right. Talking about she didn't pay. Right. Choking her out, man. I'm talking about nobody to everybody just standing up watching. Right like, now. yeah, nigga, we choking the lady because she. Come on, man. Like, we can, we can do it wrong in this place, man. Because we ain't coming back. But when you come back, I come back, he come back, we all come back as a holy nation. Like the scripture going to say right here. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 5. Bring it out! Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed. So if we obey his voice, his word. And keep my commandment. And do what? Keep my covenant. Keep my what? Keep my covenant. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure. We are peculiar. We are special treasure. We the salt of the earth. If, 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 if he take us away, this earth, this earth is dead. Nobody know how to do nothing right. Because we make everything look good. We whether we sing, dance, play football, or have the knowledge to create stoplights, have the knowledge to create parts, create all this stuff. We create all this stuff. They just stole it from us in slavery. And the slave master said he created it when the slaves created it. Read. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. And then we're going to be what? Above all people. When we keep these commandments, we're going to be above all people. Come on. That's right. For all the earth is mine. So all the earth is his. Come on. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. That's what we're supposed to be. We're trying to get our brothers to understand, like, you kings out here. Right. You the priest out here. They lie. All these movies, gods and all. What are they? God, Exodus and God. All the white people talking about they the gods and the kings. Yo, you kidding me? You a fry over there in that land. Tell me, you, tell me, you ain't got no pigmentation or melanin in your skin, but you talking about you Egyptian. And you want to talk about you the Israelites too? Bring you kidding out. me, man. Come on. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. You see how special we are? But we going back to that. Now, 1 Kings 8 and 46, because I seen when you pull out that scripture earlier. You know what I'm saying? I seen when you pull out that scripture in Genesis. Watch this. This is what we got to do in the land of our captivity. Watch this. Right now. 1 Kings 8 and 46. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So all of us have sinned, right? Come on. And thou be angry with them. God was angry with us because he gave us the covenant. We the ones supposed to be keeping these commandments and um, enforcing it everywhere else. Come on. Right. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. We got delivered it to the hand of the enemy. Not only in this captivity where we in now, so-called white man, but you know we delivered to the Babylonians. Who has had us? The Greeks had us, the Persian Medes. Chinese had us in slavery. Right. Because we always broke out. We always went out. He That's said we're right. the greatest people on the face of the earth. Just follow him. 
Well, what we do? Follow everybody else. And That's then he right. said, oh, I got to send y'all back to slave. Y'all went out. Boom, send you back to slave. Get your mind right. Oh, okay, we sorry, Lord. We forgive us, Lord. Right. We bring us out of slavery. Then we go to cutting up again. Back in the acting a fool again. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's us. Look, we, that's why we over here now. So that's why I said, what? Read that again. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sin him not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. It said deliver them, because you know they can't take us physically. Can't no nation see us physically, man. Not mentally. But I'm just speaking on, how you think they're going to gather us up or beat us at war? You can't beat us. We the mighty man. You can't right. beat us at no war. Right. Yes, no right. physical. You know what I'm saying? Back then. So... That let you know he said he delivered us, so he actually let that happen. Right. You see Thank what I'm you know. saying? That's how they gathered all us up. All us big strong men right. gathered us up. You see what I'm saying? He took the fight out of us so we could get sent away on them ships. Come on. That's right. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Just like this land. This is we carry captive to the land of it. Jamaica, Haiti, all them land. We was carried captive. Right. And you know, a hurricane probably the same path. Right. <laughs> Coming up, wreaking havoc, right in them same the transatlantic slave train route. Come on. Mm -hmm. Far or near, yet if they bethink themselves, that's what we got to do. It said, yet. I know I scared y'all away to the enemy. Put the yokes of iron on your necks, on your necks, had you on. It was written, you know what I'm saying, way back. Now watch this. But it said, yet if we bethink ourselves, right. meaning come back to. Wait a minute. I ain't no damn African American. Right. Wait a minute, that's two white men. Right. Leo Scipio Africanus and uh, 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 Amerigo Van Speechy. Right. Wait a minute, how the hell I'm gonna be African American? Right. What then before that? Matter of fact, it always changes. Why they changing it? They trying to confuse you to who you are. That's right. They don't want you to think who you are. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know who you are. They did a great job of keeping us closed-minded. Right. That's you understand? Right. It said, if you can think who you are, know that you're an Israel. Oh, know that you're an Israelite. Come on. Verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried, carried captive and repent. And do what? And repent. We got to repent. Hold that. Let's see what repent is because... Christian church to just say, oh, I'll say you sorry, then go back and, and, and you yeah. sleep with the girl at night, then say go to church Sunday morning, oh, forgive me, and then when you leave church, you go smash Bring it. Bring it out, huh? <laughs> then you, you smash it. Yeah, I'm good. Then you keep smashing, smashing, tell me, oh, forgive me. No, that's not repentance. Uh, repent and mean it. Re repent and mean it. Watch this. Ezekiel, let me get the one. Yeah, what you got? Yeah, get that one. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. So it said, and be converted, meaning change. Just like if you drive the converter, you drop that top. Put it in change, now to a drop top. Right. Change. Read. Don't do it no more. Right. Don't do it no more. That your sins may be blotted out. That's when your sins gonna be blotted out. Because how can he forgive you for your sins if you're still standing in it? That's right. Like, like uh, homosexuals try to say, oh, God forgive me that I'm a homosexual. No, he not, cause you're still standing in there. When you come out of it, then you good. But you still in it, how you gonna, How can he do it? He ain't blotted it out yet. You, you can't because you still in it. <laughs> That's like you talking about, I forgive this person for uh, cheating on me, but he cheating on you every day. If you got a spouse, oh, I forgive this person. But every day they cheating on you. How you, you can't never forgive them because they still cheating on you. See what I'm saying? Now go to, give me the one in Ezekiel 14 and 6. Bring it out! 14 and 6, and then we're going to go back. I got time to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 14, and verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent, and turn yourselves from your idols. Turn yourself from what? Your idols. And turn away your face from all your abominations. You see that? He said, turn your face from all your abominations. Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes 15, 13. Bring Let's see what abomination is. He said, turn, meaning turn away from your abominations, your sins, right? right. You got to turn away from them. You just can't stay in and then say, I'm sorry. And then, then after a while, you ain't going to even say you're sorry anymore. You're going to keep doing it. Right. Stop living and, and stop sinning and live. Absolutely. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hated all abomination. And they that fear God love it not. You see that? It said God hated abomination. Right. Now go back to Ezekiel. He said he hated abomination. Watch this. 
Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. Turn your face from all your abominations with God's hate. Now right. go back to 1 King 8 and where you stopped off at, 47 somewhere. Bring it out. Bring it out. So that's what repent is right there. 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Remember who you are, you the Israelites. You ain't no damn African American, Afro American, uh, black, Negro, colored. You ain't none of that. A white man gave you a title. That ain't you. You the Israelites. The greatest thing that ever touched the face of the earth. Right. That's who you are. Right. You, your God is the only God. Yeah. Everybody else ain't got no God. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? And Bring I'm going to pull that neck because I know that might, that's a big one right there. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent. Turn your face from all your abominations that God hate your sin. And make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned. What we got to do? We have sinned. We got to say, look, Father, I sinned. I sinned. That's what it's about. That's why you get all the knowledge. But guess what? It's about do you have enough knowledge to turn away from your sin? That's right. That's what, the, that's what knowledge we need to begin to turn away. What I need to learn to turn me away from being wicked. Teach, huh? For me causing my sisters to be whores. Like we laughed huh? this one tonight, laughed with the other one the next night. Right. And then, uh, then I got knowledge, though. I got a lot of knowledge. Right. No, that's not. You need to have knowledge to turn away from your sin. That's right. We have sinned and done perversely. We have done perversely. We've done it all type of ways. We wise to do evil. We wise to be a whole We wise to sell dope. We wise to embezzle money. We wise to do all type of foolishness. Right. So we've done it perversely. We have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all thy heart and with all thy soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captives and prayed toward their land. That's why we got to pray towards our land which is Jerusalem. That's where we from. Read. Which thou gavest unto their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built from thy name. Then hear thou their prayer. He said then what? Then hear thou their prayer. He said then I'm going to hear your prayers when you do that. Because right now, I, my, my, I don't hear you. Let's prove that. Let's prove that he don't hear you when you're in your sin. Bring it John out. 9, 31. Bring it out. John 9, 31, he don't hear you. So we think we got a lot. No. He said, then I'm going to hear you when you confess your sins. Right. Then I hear you. Well, other than that, I don't hear I just hear gibberish. Right. The book sound like your kids doing burning the house up and smoking weed in the house. Then he come to you, daddy, daddy, can I get a PlayStation? Man, you gonna keep doing your bed like it? You gonna keep me sitting in the kitchen cooking? Yeah, I ain't heard nothing you said, said. Right. <laughs> Until I know about your actions. Until I see your action change. Then, oh, okay. You get good grade? Oh, okay. What you, what you want? Oh, okay. Matter of fact, let's, let me go get that for you. I hear you now. Come on. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we, now we know that God hears not sinners. God, what? God hears not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, and doeth his will, which is the commandments. That's right. Agree. Him, he heard. He hear the person that doing these commandments. Other than that, you just you just think you, you think the most high with you, but he not. He watching over you, but he ain't dealing with you direct, because Hosea 5 and 15. Watch this. Hosea Bring 5 and 15. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I go, I will go and return to my place. God said he going to go and return to his place. He's going to leave this, leave for dealing with us. He going to return to his place. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until they what? Acknowledge their offense. Come on. And seek my face. You see that? Until they acknowledge their offense. What? That they broke God's law. That's why everything you got to come back to God's laws. Right. That's if right. he sent us into slavery for breaking God's law, what we got to do to get out of it? Keep God's laws. You see what I'm saying? Keep his commandments. That's, That's right. it on that. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Uh-oh, that's heavy right there. It said, in their afflictions, meaning when the white man be gunning us down in the street on camera, choking us out. Bring it out. Shooting us. We, we ain't got nothing in our hand. We running away, getting shot by the police. He said, oh, when enough of that happened, that, what, what recently just happened? 
Oh, hey, even on the newspaper article, right? The, the dude that, the white kid that shot up was 17 people. Shot up 17 people, right? No. 17 died. 17 died, right? 29 died. So 29 got shot, 17 died, right? On the newspaper article, they got a black man kill a white cop or something like that, right? Ain't it was a white cop? Anybody seen that? Mm -hmm. A white cop. They got him front page. I'm talking about they got his picture up there. Cover the whole page. And then on the side column, it got the kid killed 17 people. Right. What the hell is that? That's yeah. affliction. He got Everybody going to seek him or the boy that went in the church in um, South Carolina and killed um, Dylan Roof and killed um, all the black people in there. And they took him to Burger King. Right. Yeah. But but I seen the picture, though. They had uh, him sitting in the back of the police car. And then one of our brothers in the police cop knotted up, no mouth busted, everything, and a dude and a white boy over there eating a burger. Cause I'm just, just letting you know, we, we, when enough of that go down, he said, in your afflictions, you will start to seek me. You're going to know something ain't right down here. Right. Right. Something ain't right down here. You probably can't figure it out like we did. I'm like, man, something just ain't right. right. You know, this, this, hey, man, they just killing us, getting away with it. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Marching still ain't come out. You tell me everybody seen the camera, everybody seen the tape that you choked them out. You go to the courtroom, the jury see it and all that, and then you still come back and say, not guilty? Golly, what the hell going on around here? These scriptures is real because he said he going to leave us. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And let this stuff happen because we so wicked. Teach up. That's why we got to come out of our sin. Now, what was that? Read that again. So the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. So he said he's going to go and return to his place and let this happen right here. Hold that. Uh, uh, um, Zechariah 11 and 7. 11 and 5. Yeah. Break it out. He's going to go and return to his place, right? And let, and tell, in their affliction, they said, seek me early. Watch this here. In their afflictions, they said, seek me early. So he's going to let stuff like this happen down here. Come on, come on. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold them. Whose possessors slay us? When we on them ships, they possessed us, right? They said, whose possessor? So today, who is our possessor? Who is they? The white man, right? So-called white. His name is Esau or Edom or Idumia in the Bible, right? Esau, that's his name, right? So they possess us right now, but what they do? So when, when they do us wrong, when they pull us over, kill us and all that stuff, change your plan, all this stuff that happened to us, and countless of stuff that happened, or even before... The media start getting stuff, or when they was hanging us from trees, or just following us home back in your time, when they just follow you home and just shoot you or kill you. You see what I'm saying? He said, whose possessors do what? Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves hey. not guilty. That's 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 clean scripture right there. Let you know what exactly going on today, right? Because guess what? Hey, the huh? Emmett Till, man, they, they, that's the story of Emmett Till, they said the two white men came to the folks' house and got them. Right. They had no mask on, no net. They just went to the house and got the boy, killed the boy, then say, oh, well, we ain't kill him. What the hell is that? Bring it not out. guilty. They not, how the hell you get a not guilty verdict? Because he said in Hosea 5, he was going to go and turn to his place. In their affliction, they said, stick me early. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Read that again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And in slavery too. He said, them that sell us, say, bless be the Lord. And they the man one said, thank you, Lord, for all my slaves. They got a hundred slaves. Thank you, Lord, all my slaves. My cotton fields is growing and blossoming. The same thing now. Thank, thank you, Lord, for me having these black folk work, work the hell out of them. And don't pay them nothing on these jobs and why I can sit back on my yacht and, and take a cruise. It's the same thing. Right. You understand? You know. And that aspect of they still over us, they still ruling, and they still making money off us, and they still good. And they still say, blessed be the Lord. Let's go to church on Sunday. Bring it out. Huh? So how you think they got this wealth? They had a 400 year head start. Right. Right. Hell, you mean? You think they just some genius somehow? No. 400 years of you working for free. Hell, if you work for me one year free, I'm going to come up. Right. I got a restaurant. You work for me one year for free. What? This is just one person to help me out. Four, man, you got millions of slaves for 400 years? And this the fathers you got and we still here with you? Oh. <laughs> they got old money, man, backed up. But guess what? We still here because we God's chosen people, man. That's right. Read what you got. For I am rich and their own shepherds Pity them not. He said our own shepherds pity us not. Meaning a shepherd is supposed to what? Watch the sheep, right? Right. He said our own shepherds pity us not. Al, or what is that? Uh, uh, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. 
Man, they get paid. I remember the time St. Louis, they said, I don't want you here, Jesse. We don't want you here. Get the hell out of here. Because they know the only thing Jesse do, they pay them the money, they go send them to the community when something like that happened to try to hush, hush everything down. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come come down. Nah, when with the prophets of the most, I ain't doing that. We crying aloud. Right, right, right. Right. We coming to your block and post it up and gonna cry aloud in your block and tell you why they killing you. They the enemy, like the scripture say. You understand what I'm saying? So now, go to Psalms 106 and 35. Bring it out. Bring it out. Psalms 106 and 35. The book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 35. But were mingled among the heathen. So we was mingled among the heathen. On the, trans, on the slave ship, right? We was mingled among the nation, the heathen. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. We learned their works, 4th of July. Why we celebrate the 4th of July? That ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. We learned their works. That's when we went into slavery. Yeah, well, no, that's actually, no, we was in slavery way before that. But that was in, what, 1776? Yeah. That's just other white people get free from other white people. Right. That was they independent. They ain't got right. nothing to do with us. While we were still picking cotton that, that next morning. Right. Still picking cotton, yeah. still doing sugar cane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where we went in 1619. Yeah, but yeah, but today we're the Oh, okay. Well, if you say it was the fall, I don't know. I ain't with that fall in the history. If it was the fall, then it's the fall. But guess what? Why we celebrate the fall of July today? Because they ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. We learned their works. They said we learned their works. Thanksgiving. Why we celebrate Thanksgiving when they murdered over oh how many? 200 million? No, seven it was 77 million. 77 million of our brothers right here, Native American Indians. They murdered us. So why are we gonna celebrate? What they got to be thankful for? Because you came on here, gave us smallpox, you gave us all these diseases, kill us, learn how we uh, survive off the land. The hell we got to be thankful for. So what the hell we talking about some Thanksgiving? Right. We learned their works. That's their works. Come on. But we're mingled among the heathen. We learned their religion. White Jesus. Because what scripture say Jesus is white? Not now in the Bible. That's why they wanted to cut your hands off their culture reading or put you to death. And they said you read. It wasn't that, but they just want you to read a book. Now they didn't want you to read and be think yourselves right. in the land of your captivity. Because right. they, they sure have been starting to uh, fall then. And we like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, wait, this is like, man. Like what? Nat Turner. Now, Turner probably got a glimpse of what, what was going on. You know, they had him teaching the white man, Dr. D. He said, wait a minute, I read the Bible. I got new eyes now. <laughs> I got new eyes. Every scripture they talking about to keep us oppressed, it's, it's a revoke to them. See what I'm saying? Now, read what you got. Psalm chapter 106. Hold on, bro, before you go. I want, you, I want to finish this. Before you go. Psalm chapter 106 and verse 35. Bring it out. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they, and they served their idols which were a snare unto them. A white Jesus, that's a snare to us. Come on. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and daughters unto devil. Like we do now. We still take our, take our kids to churches. We take our kids to some trick or treat Halloween. That's sacrificing to the devil. That's right. Read. Christmas, too. That's right. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Now watch the jump to verse, um, um, forty, forty-one. Verse forty-one, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they hated them, and they hated, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. You see that? They that hate us. Don't they hate us? Why they hate us? They don't even know why they hate us. You got to hate somebody to hang them up from a tree and then have your whole family out there taking pictures and smiling. I can't tell you why. They can't even tell you why. Because, because God made them that way. <laughs> That's why the scripture tell you he made them that way. That's why they tell me you can say them. No, they ain't meant to be saved. They were meant here to do what they doing. Read. Verse 42, their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. You see that? Many times God brought us out, but then we went back 
and went back to our sin. He brought us right back low for our sin. That's why we're telling you the pivotal thing is coming out of our sins. Right. Right. That's right. Read. Teach, huh? Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction. Nevertheless, he like, okay, I see him getting their tail whooped down here. All right, let me, let me do something. Read. And when he heard their cry and remembered for, th for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies, he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captive. So we got a break in captivity. That's Come on. Right. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. That ain't it. I'm just reading you the show that that ain't it. Isaiah 14 and 1. That ain't it, bro. That ain't it. We're going to rule this place. That's right. It's coming. We're going to rule, but watch this. It's something we got to do. And I'm going to let you ride after that. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob. So he's going to have mercy upon Jacob. His name was saying to Israel, meaning the Israelites. And will yet choose Israel. He's choosing us. After we still been wicked, hard head, he's still going to choose us. And the ones that get right. But like the ones that keep God's commandments. And set them in their own land. And set, are we in our own land right now? No. He said he's going to set us in our own land. So he let you know this is future prophecy. Come on. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And all these little other nations, the all these little Arab running our stoke and rich off up. Every corner you go to, they got a store, the Chinese, everybody got stole with us, right? That's right. All these little strangers, uh-huh. And we gonna be And they shall cleave to the house of, of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're gonna take them. That's right. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're gonna what? Possess them in the land of the Lord. We're gonna own them. We gonna possess them, but it's gonna be unrighteous. But we gonna rule and run everything. Right. It's our time to rule. That's right. That's why we are here teaching the real gospel. Right. Read. And the house. And the house. Gospel just means good news. That's the good news. We ain't always gonna be at the bottom. That's we right. gonna run this whole world forever. It ain't gonna That's be no right. ending to it. That's when we rule, right. we gonna rule forever. Yes. Right. No more crying. No more pain. No more tears. That's the rulership we gonna have. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be great news. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, which is Jerusalem, for servants and handmaids. What they gonna be? Servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Weren't we captives? Yeah. Wait a minute, the scripture said we're gonna take them captives yeah. who captives we were. Right. So we got to see all them other nations. That's right. Read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Are we being oppressed today? Yes. Uh, I see Moab oppressing us. Uh, Ishmael and them oppressing us. They'll probably throw you your chain back on, get your bag, get out of my store. Give me your money, get the hell out of here. They don't care about us. What? They, they don't care. They don't put a dime in our communities. They take all our dimes, but don't put a dime into ours. Right. Teach up. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to see about all these nations. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. He said he gonna give us rest from our sorrow. Right. And we been sorrow and crying down here. All the pain, all the affliction we go through. Look at the slavery itself. All that sorrow and crying, you seeing your wife getting raped there at night? I had to die, I was dead. I wasn't taking that. You see what I'm saying? All the oppression, read. And from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You see that? Hard bondage in there picking that cot. You only get a uh, little six or twelve ounce of water a day. The hell you think I'm picking out? And then you want me to pick the most cot with only a little bottle of water for the whole day, sun up to sun down. That's a hard bondage. Read. Yes, now, go to um, Revelations. Let me show you how you get this though. It don't end just that. Give me on um, Revelation 2 and 25. It don't end just that. We we gonna rule, but everybody ain't gonna get that pass to rule. Now watch this. Revelation chapter two and verse twenty-five. Bring it out. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. I Meaning we got to hold on to what Bible we got, the knowledge we got. We got to hold on fast to what we got. And he that overcometh 
and keeping my works unto the He end. that overcome their sin. You got to come out of sin. Right. Everybody got to come out of sin. That's why we that's why we teach and repent. Come out of your sin. Show people their transgressions. Come out of their sin, right? Come on. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. He gonna do what? Give power over the nations. And he shall rule over them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken. You see that? We're gonna rule over the As the vessels of a potter shall be they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Even if I receive of our father, you know this is all righteous from God. Right. That we're gonna rule. And we're going to reign over all these nations if we come out of sin. So now, brother, we ask you again. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Bring it out. 1 <laughs> Corinthians 11. You too, watch this. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of, John, John, pay attention. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So now you should take it all prayer to the most high, bro. You, hey, you, you, heard, you heard that scripture? You gotta take your head off. The way kept two right quick. The way kept two. I'll pray to the I'll pray that that's repentance right there, man. Leave it off, leave it off, leave it off, leave it off. Leave it off. Leave it off. the word coming out. Let me show you what y'all just did. Give me um um what is it? Luke 4. Damn. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the one repent of. 15, 7, Luke 15, 7. Yeah, that's it. Luke 15 and 7. This is what y'all just showed right here. The book of Luke, chapter 15 and verse 7. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented. The angels in heaven, read that again. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented. That's what y'all just did. You just repented. You just, God say, dude, you did it. Okay, I'm going to do it. That, it, the angels rejoicing over that thing, man. Read. More than over 90 and nine just persons which need no repentance. You see that? So they rejoice more over seeing you brothers just take your hat off when the scripture come out, man. I'll pray to the most high. John 14 and 15. Let me show you what else you did. John 14 and 15. That's right. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. He loved me, keep my commandments. So that's what y'all just did, bro. You love the most high, you keep God's commandments, bro. You got you got our flyer, right? Yeah. Hey, we we got we got um contact and information and everything on there. It's another commandment I want. Yeah, we the address on them. See the address. Somebody see the address on them. It's on the back. That's what that's it. Yeah, man, come check us out. We're finna go to the school right now, man. Y'all can come out there right now. One more, one more commandment. Let me give y'all. One more commandment. Look up, oh, Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we're supposed to take a razor and make baldness out of our head, all right? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That neither what? Shave off the corner of their beard. Now, now you know, so you repent the same thing. The angels will be dressing over that thing. That's when we come back as a nation. That's when we come back to rule. And like the officer brought out Psalm 94 16, you'll be rising up for God now because you repent. You see what I'm saying? I'll praise you. All right, brother. Well, I'll Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org